What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron, and if it's your first time seeing one of my videos, I'd like to welcome my channel where we just chill and talk about all the things that we love or hate. And if you have anything you want to check out, new, old, album, EP, single, whatever, leave a comment below letting me know what it is, and I'll make it happen for you. And if you do that, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on your requested reviews, or any of my future reviews for that matter. And for today's video, we're going to be checking out the new single Neurotica by the band Polyphia. Neurotica is the second single being released off of the band's upcoming album titled Remember That You Will Die. Uh, Polyphy is one of the few instrumental bands that I will still do a review on, mainly because, honestly, I just got burnt out on instrumental bands. I grew up listening to Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Paul Gilbert, Eric Johnson, Yngwie Malmsteen, basically all the 80s, 90s, and like early 2000s shredders. I still go back and listen to some of their stuff occasionally, mostly for like nostalgia purposes, but rarely do I hear something new that sounds really fresh especially from like an instrumental only band or artists the only the only new like bands or artists that i could think of that really comes out with like new instrumental stuff would be like rabia Massad, but he's just so different i think that's what catches me on that one polyphia always manages to surprise me by doing something kind of out of the box like even their own songs sound different from each other which is pretty rare for instrumental bands just because I don't know, you listen to an instrumental album and like the fifth song in, you're just, it's all the kind of the same now. You know, all the guitar stuff is all super shreddy. They're playing the same kind of melody. Very rarely does it sound really, really different, especially on the same album, which I feel like Polyphy is able to do. However, a lot of their songs do have like a really strong waltz feel to it. Like the timing goes through this slow, quick, quick kind of thing where the guitar rhythm it gets really fast and then it slows down and then it goes really fast again. And like, it's something you would hear on their song Go, especially in the intro. And Erotica starts off in the same kind of fashion with like this video game guitar tone and like this back and forth push pull kind of vibe to it. The quick muted runs sound just as cool as ever. The main melody is beautiful as is the guitar tone once we actually start getting into the song. Uh, it has like this little bit of fuzz on it, just a little bit of dirt and you can kind of, you, you just hear it at the end of some of the phrasings and it sounds so great. The drums and the bass are really powerful without being too overwhelming. And the mix in this really allows you to be able to hear everything without anything being too mushed or anything drowning something out. If you're listening for something, you will definitely get a chance to hear it. And the second guitar solo -y kind of part, around the two minute mark, has so much authority to it. It seems like it's never going to stop. It just keeps going and building. And you're kind of on the edge listening to what's going to happen next. And you definitely, you don't ever really want it to end. It's shreddy, but it's not like obnoxious kind of winkery where it's like, hey, look at me, look how fast I can play. Look at just how technical I am. It actually has a purpose to the song and it fits the song more than anything else. And it goes along with the song and it doesn't, like steal the show it doesn't take away from the drums and the bass that are still absolutely killing it in the background and then the song finishes off in the same kind of way it started with that video game kind of kind of sound to the guitar and i just can't get enough of this song it's focused and scattered it's quick and slow it's chaotic and calm it's all these things all at the same time every time you listen to it you'll pick up something a little bit different here and there for a lot a lot of listens and i found it really hard to review this song. Instead of critiquing the song and taking notes, I kept getting distracted by it and I kept just, I don't know, enjoying the song, which is something that rarely happens. And to me, it's like one of the highest levels of compliments I could give to a song or any type of music is where I'm trying to critique, I'm trying to focus on what it is I like or what it is I don't like and I just lose myself and I just start listening to it. It's kind of frustrating because I listened to the song about eight times uh, while I was trying to write up my review for it and critique it after I'd already decided how I felt about it. And yeah, it was a little frustrating. It took a lot longer than it should have, but I still enjoyed the hell out of it. So with all that said, I got to give Neurotica by Polyphia. Uh, it's got, it, it's a five out of five. I mean, it doesn't really get any better than this. But I want to know what you guys think of Neurotica. I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. If you haven't listened to it yet, go ahead and click on that and give it a listen. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you'd rate it. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to comment below letting me know what I should review next. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and ringing the bell icon and taking your time out of your day to listen to me just sit here and talk about music. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was